Have you ever wondered how your fridge keeps your food fresh and cold? This video dives deep into the inner workings of a refrigerator. From the insulation and structure to the refrigeration cycle and electrical system. Let's start with the structure of the fridge. The outer cabinet and door are made from coated sheet metal and thermoplastic materials that protect the fridge from the elements. The inner liner and door lining are made from high impact polystyrene and are insulated with a rigid polyurethane foam. This insulation keeps the cold in and the heat out, ensuring that your food stays fresh and cool. A gasket rubber seals in the cold. Inside the fridge, there are shelves and drawers made of acrylic plastic that provides storage space. Now let's talk about the heart of the fridge, the refrigeration cycle. Inside the fridge, there's a closed cycle compression process that involves five main components. A compressor, condenser, expansion device, evaporator, and refrigerant. Is a fluid that circulates the system and is used because of its low boiling point. It repeatedly turns from a vapor to a liquid and back again, moving heat from the food to the external environment. The cycle begins with the refrigerant entering the compressor as a low pressure, low temperature vapor. The compressor pressurizes the refrigerant and it exits as a high pressure, high temperature vapor. Next, the refrigerant moves through the condenser coil typically made of copper, where it condenses into a liquid and releases heat to the environment. Aluminium fins increase the contact area with the outside air and increase the heat transfer. From there, the refrigerant flows through a filter dryer to remove any contaminants and moisture. It then enters the expansion device, which is often a thin capillary tube as the refrigerant flows through the capillary tube, its pressure drops significantly and it enters the evaporator section as a low pressure, low temperature, liquid vapor mixture. The evaporator coil is located inside the refrigerator and the heat from the air inside is absorbed into the refrigerant. This cools the air inside the fridge. During this process, the refrigerant is boiled and evaporates, exiting the evaporator as a low pressure, low temperature vapor. It then returns to the compressor and the cycle starts again. Finally, let's take a look at the electrical system that powers the refrigerator. The power outlet supplies single phase AC power to the fridge. The live wire connects to the door switch, turning the fridge light on when the door is open and off when it's closed. The thermostat is also connected to the live wire and controls the temperature inside the refrigerator. If the temperature goes above a certain value, the compressor is switched on via a relay. 